Hello everyone. So this um, uh, Mr. Sea Turtles painting is done. And uh, thank you for coming to probably because you um, look at the the little thumbnail on YouTube and decide to come and check us out. We had a lot of fun because uh, of fun painting him because um, I that was my desire to get him a little bit uh, more colorful so we can use our color because it's summer. We get to look at the flowers um, and we got to have some fun. You know, we need to have some fun with the colors, and so um, I. Uh, Oh, I also wanted to explain, um, you know, I never said anything if uh, anybody like was wondering where this uh, purple tape is. Sometimes it's purple and sometimes I just use masking tape just to take the uh, painting, the watercolor paper down onto, this is a matte board. You know, I like it because it's gray in color and so it's getting kind of older. But matte board is so easy, you can just keep changing them. And so, you know, you if you were wondering why there's always a purple, because that's how um, I like to paint and so we peel this up and then the, it's kind of like a frame uh, I mean uh, you know a white border I guess I should say that and so um, if you uh, wanted to know some of the uh, where I left off let's talk about that first okay I finished the turtle painting with you guys um, all I did I think is to put a little drop of um, a little drop of uh, white acrylic on the eye at the very end this is a white um, gouache Okay, so that's all I did at the very end on him, and I might have um, I might have uh, put a little bit of his uh, the characteristic of the sea turtle with a little bit of the skin, the crack, the crackly part. Uh, please uh, excuse me for my lack of description words, and I might have done that. Now I did the whole background here, the water part without you guys uh, watching me because, um, like I say, I refer you to my. Uh, whale painting that was just posted uh, the one before this one and so that will kind of show you it's a what uh, is a little bit of wash okay and during the wash I did add a little bit of uh, yellow ochre here and uh, quinacridone burnt orange here just to kind of show the depth okay and so um, and then I finished the two big rock under the sea rock because um, what I did is I just uh, go in there and I just drop in some indigo color maybe there's some royal blue over here while it's wet and then I drop in some green okay so um, and try to let them mix on the paper but not um, not so much mixed together they become a new color I didn't do that and so I just kind of control it a little bit and let it uh, just kind of do its color mix because you know that to me is kind of water uh, water, uh, rock underwater, right? And so, um, and then I bring, I did bring in some color when I, um, like I pull in the turquoise into the shoulder of Mr. Turtle and just to, so that he's kind of mixed in with the surrounding, okay? And so we use a lot of the color and all this color will be on my blog, sunsetpeony.com and then you can go and uh, search this one and then I will uh, list, I will have a list of all the color and someone asked me about this, um, uh, this uh, brush and it is called HO Zero and it's from Oriental Art Supply and so I would just uh, I bought it and when I bought it I knew that I it will be useful but in the painting during the painting I will show you how um, you know as with all the brushes we need to take the time to get to know it to learn to use it correctly and uh, it, it has its, uh, its tricks and problems but nonetheless it is a good one and so I think I I don't know why I, I I know that I have three of them but now I only have two of them that I can see so I have a backup because I think this is only like maybe six dollars so I just order a lot of them so I don't have to keep ordering brushes and so I change from this one that I've been using I have an extra one for this one too I decide not to go go into the new one and just uh, go oh yeah the new one is right here yeah I have an extra one my daughter got it for me it's the Princeton from uh, Dick Art Supply um, and so uh, Princeton Aqua Elite I use that and then I use it so much and so harsh that it is beginning to feather but that's okay we can still use it for things you know and so I changed to this one and when it's wet it's just come to a really sharp point but it does not hold um, pigment very well okay and so 
um, we you know we will talk about this actually quite a bit I use it for the eyes I you know I use it over here I use it in a lot you know in the uh, crack breastplate of our Mr. Turtle I use it over there too so um, lots of chance if you guys are interested in going there I'm you know of course nobody pay me to advertise anything I just uh, buy all these and just um, you know through the 20 years right of experience I just you know go out and try things I might have used this one too okay and I when my uh, daughter is around I will have her list this on my uh, supply on my blog uh, maybe it's called product or supply something like that and uh, it will have list of things this one my husband say oh well it's called Princeton Velvet Touch when we were in uh, Black R Supply and he said do you want to uh, try that one this one I think is a little bit expensive it's called tight spot and so you know they all they all very good um, they all have their uh, challenge okay so we just need to learn to deal with them the best that we could but it's it's good you know if you you know I always um, need the detail brush because you know there are details that we need to just address right and so um, and also all the color will be there I will tell you um, this is a very colorful one um, I use you know maybe a little bit more if you like to you can also splash color around uh, maybe down here that might be a little bit better than if you have a big splash then it will be a suggestion of um, fishes right uh, small splashes will be uh, the things that float around the bottom of the <laughs> of the sea anyway we really have a lot of fun and I like I really like the colorful um, Mr. Turtle and I I think that uh, if there's anything else oh yes um, I just want to remind you guys to subscribe to me because um, it is the only almost the only way I can tell if you guys are enjoying my style and my painting and of course it'll be it, it will be like if you you know will actually leave me a message that actually will be another way that I can tell and uh, just to remind you to turn up your brightness of your you know of your computer or tablet or whatever you're using and when you're painting along because um, I have a lot of lights over here right now you know I have the sunlight and two big lamps over here and still with the Canyon um, I forgot the name it is a very good one it is still hard you know to um, you know the camcorder does not like to absorb a lot of light and so I think after you know I'm going to go get another light um, light uh, you can hear it um, you know the light base and maybe put another one uh, on my left side I see you know because I have a lot of light bulb and those are really good light bulb my husband got for me anyway yeah please subscribe and so that I could know if you I understand sometimes you just don't want to leave a message I would love to hear from you but if you uh, you know it will be a way to communicate with me uh, you know by your subscription and I really love that and so uh, but I would love to hear from you if there's any question you can leave me message on my blog you know there's a place you can leave a message or you can leave me a message on Facebook I mean not on Facebook on YouTube um, on my blog is a little bit more private I guess um, it's up to you um, and then I will try my best to answer you know some of your question and uh, Lena requested a um, uh, queer will be coming up very soon but I do have a list of things that I'm progressing so um, I'm thinking I wanted to do the quail either with uh, cactus or some fall uh, for for um, uh, forest ground so that might be you know sometime in the fall but anyway that's my answer uh, so some of you guys have questions and requests and so um, anyway and I think that I should sign my painting um, let's see where will be a good spot how about just right here and uh, I'm very grateful for all of you and I'm very grateful for your support um, and so I'm going to stop talking now and go on to uh, beginning of the painting okay I'll see you guys later thank you okay let's get started shall we um, oh, my phone is not in here that's good I don't <laughs> want to somebody will call me and start beeping okay so uh, if we look at our sea turtle I think we what what we wanted to do is to um, uh, just to work on the eye first, okay? So I'm using my um, regular flow brush. 
there's a lot of detail today. So I hope that we can, um, you know, so I, uh, I must um, just try to remind myself that I need to uh, somehow keep uh, my mind remember, remembering uh, that there's a lot of details. So the turtle itself is not uh, hard to paint in any way, but the details will um, cost us time, right? And so I need to um, keep going and uh, make sure that I don't... Um, <laughs> I find that when I look back on my tutorial, sometimes I go back and... Uh, now, so what I'm doing is, uh, I, sometimes I just finish the thought, I go back and, you know, I stop the brush. I stop painting and just get talking and I, I know that I need to, you know, be careful. So I put some quinacridone burn orange, quinacridone burn orange in the eye area. And now I'm going to, and I didn't leave any white because I'm going to use some white at the end to put back the highlight, okay? And so what I do is I just pick up some very dilute color of burn uh, umber and uh, just, uh, you know, try to do the surrounding area of the eye, but not at this point really worry about the intensity yet. And uh, we'll come back, okay? And then we'll see after everything else is painted and we'll just uh, compare. Okay, and uh, when I first do my practice, I actually had a more of an orange and um, uh, Quinacridone burnt orange and yellow and um, I went back and I looked at it carefully and decided that I really would like to have more of an indigo and sap green okay so today we're gonna be high um, we're gonna be uh, that is the indigo color right there and here's my sap green so we're gonna use a lot of that color especially in the in the shady area okay all right and more indigo I guess you know but I like the um, I like the the um, the turtle to be more like a green and blue and a little bit of purple. Okay, now so what I'm doing uh, over here, and I'm putting some, you know, kind of intense uh, darker green over here. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm going to try to um, you know uh, go in there and first establish the the shadowy area okay so i'm going in and i'm picking up some more indigo and dropping in this color okay need to work a little bit fast because um since there's indigo color in here the color tends to wanna um sediment you know they want it to before you have time to come and soften the line they will want it to form a line if that makes sense okay so we're doing this like uh, what we're doing is like we're looking at the at the uh, at our beautiful um, our beautiful and friendly Mr. Turtle Sea Turtle um, as a you know as an oval shape, right? So what I'm doing right now is I'm going in and establishing the shadow area so it will look more oval to you. Okay, so I'm gonna since um, over here. You know, I can use this to point, you know, that's the big oval, right? It's kind of look like a, the head of a snake, really, okay? And uh, so I'm going to come over here, you know, and uh, uh, make that uh, the shadow area of an egg. So that it will look more round to you. And um, that's the first thing I wanted to establish is the just the form, okay? The form meaning the oval shape of the head, okay? And uh, since this part, I wanted it to, and it probably is quite obvious to you that, of course, this part is in the shadow. If the if the sun is coming from the from the top, and he is swimming in the ocean, okay. So that's the area, okay. Now I wanted to leave the shoulder, if you can call this the shoulder area of the turtle, a little bit white, as as much a whitish area as I can, you know, manage because uh, that's how. You know, living thing works, okay? When the sun comes down, you know, it usually will shine on that side, right? And so that, sh that side, you can see that I have a little mark of a um, pencil over there, but, you know, ever so faint, okay? And then uh, if I get this area nicely established, then I don't have to um, worry about, you know, it, uh, you know, it just look like a flat, you know, the head of the turtle is kind of flat and we don't want that to happen, okay? So I just put in a little bit more intense color of the indigo, you know, because the area is quite watery right now, okay? So 
I guess it is very important to me that you know the shadow is well established in this area okay now don't try to you know I know that you may not be able to see that but uh, I have a little bit of uh, too much water than my liking okay so I'm just going to you know maybe leave the area alone you know come up here a little bit okay with that little bit of uh, blue color and also I am using Roy royal blue and my royal blue is actually Holbein uh, I forgot to um, answer my friend uh, on her uh, YouTube question. She said, "What kind? Uh, what uh, the Holbein color? That's the one that I got uh, from. You know, I just went to uh, Amazon one time and uh, saw that they are selling the Holbein color from this, uh, you know, art shop that I don't even know where that is. Um, and um, and uh, they decide to give me extra." For some reason and so i got the extra one on and so i tried to use that um you know we're in the deep sea right at least we're trying to think that we're in the deep sea now this is the top of the shell over here okay and what i'm going to do is i'm going to use uh the lighter lighter green and blue over here but where the shell and the meat of the turtle cover that is a big shadow area okay now today what i'm going to do is i'm going to first establish a little bit of quinacridone uh, burn orange you know okay now um you know other than because that the quinacridone burn orange is a very pretty color uh, i also you know wanted to use that on our mr turtle because it um this is going to be a very very intense um so i'm just gonna you know you know that the neck come down here and so we're gonna use this area as his fleshy area and we're gonna put some of that uh quinacridone burn orange okay and uh, while I'm doing that, I'm going to drop a little bit, just ever so slightly. Oh, let's use yellow ochre, okay, instead of uh, cadmium yellow medium, okay, uh, in that area. Okay, now, uh, because that will give us a contrast. Sometimes I think when we're doing this kind of thing, there's just like too much, too much of blue. And so we kind of try to sneak in some of the orange, you know, to make a balance in the painting. So it's more pleasing, right? It gives us a... Uh, kind of like a rest to the eye okay so I'm gonna put some of that color and what is this color this color will add, add as the base color when I come in and put in the shadow okay and you see okay we're gonna just um, and some yellow ochre okay yellow ochre is a very uh, good color actually to do animals and so you know and nature because I know that there's a little black in it and so I really uh, like to use that okay like to use that kind of color okay now um, we are going let's see okay we're gonna let this area dry and let that uh, quinacridone burn orange uh, color dry a little bit because now it's very very uh, watery right as you can I don't know if you can see that and if you can you just trust me and so we wanted that area to dry up a little bit and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into um, let's go into the arm area okay I think that's what we wanted to do let's go in here okay so this is um okay I have a lot of pencil mark let's uh, dilute that a, I mean erase that a little bit okay so we know that this part of the you know the four uh, four leg maybe you know what I, I'll just call it the arm okay I think you understand what I'm talking about and so we wanted to do this also is a, a as a very shadowy area okay and so let's go in and get some mix of uh, indigo okay and so when you um, um, indigo and um, because when we are doing shadowy part you know especially you know seriously it's in the ocean we wanted to um, be able to use uh, you know darker blue color and so you can just uh, be uh, generous with yourself and uh, be able to you know you use as much as you want okay and uh, you can e even use as dark as you want okay so you know that you know um, you can see that I didn't put a lot in but now you know this area is very wet right and so I always like to use indigo to um, to make the dark area okay so i'm uh, bringing back the indigo color and hoping that it will mix with my first layer and if it doesn't mix then i'm going to force it to mix uh, which what i uh, what i'm doing here okay i you know i'm just like going in there and trying to get the color and say yeah hey you guys uh, try to mix together okay 
because I don't really want a very very harsh line over here even though you might you might look like it is but you know uh, you know uh, trust me we don't want to you know we don't want to outline our animals right you know unless there's a real reason that in nature that it is an outline and so in order to do that then we want it to make things um, so that it appears softer as we go okay and some you know sap green is very very uh, nice green and it actually does um, mix with um, because it's like a gradation right and so it mixes with um, the blue color very well it mixes with indigo and all the other blue color very, very well okay and so that's what I'm going to do and then I'm going to say okay I don't see a lot of mixing color right so I'm going to intensify the indigo over here because this area right now is very very wet okay so I'm going to just put in and say okay you guys uh, just go ahead and get the color mixing over here for me, okay? Okay, but uh, not worry about it too much, okay? And then we're going to come over here and uh, just uh, go around the shell, you know, the base plate over here, the shell of the of our um, uh, bit beautiful Mr. Turtle, okay? We're going to just go around here, okay? And then meanwhile, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put a little bit more of the sap green so it will be a little more um, of a gradation, okay? And then I'm going to come in and soften this line because uh, while this line, uh, when this line is softened, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put just a little dab of uh, yellow over here, okay? Because now this, uh, this area is getting closer to the... Um, to the sun okay and you know that I really like sunshine and yellow so I'm going to have a little bit of yellow over here but we're gonna cover it though at the very end with things okay and then we're gonna uh, remember uh, a little while a bit earlier I told you that I want sunshine in the area right and so I'm gonna pull this yellow you see how I abuse my brush does it scare you guys that I flatten my brush so much okay now this can either be white or it can be yellow. Yellow is a uh, you know kind of like a reflection of sunshine color. So I don't really worry about it, and I'm not a uh, you know really uh, you know uh, you know I like to use it. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Now um, you know I, at this point I can uh, come in here and keep dropping more in the gold color because you know this color, this area really is uh, quite a bit away from the sun. And so, you know, it can be even darker, okay, if you like it to be darker. But at this point, if you are quite uncomfortable uh, with um, playing with the too many layer of water, then you can stop and uh, just come back when it's dry and then you can put another layer of indigo, okay, in it. Because I, I understand that how it could be a little bit uh, of uh, intimidation if you guys, uh, you know, if I make you <laughs> keep uh, going in and doing that, so I'm very very um, happy about the the generally how um, uh, you know. And when it's dry, I'm gonna come in over here because you know the arm look like there's a fold, right? And of course there will be a painting right over here that you guys can follow along. And so I'm going to uh, do that fold in a little bit. Okay, now let's uh, work on his other forearm. If I may call that forearm uh, or whatever we want to call this and so what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into this area and do the same as that okay you know just on the other side nothing um, you know more because I'm just reserving the ah, I my, my brush is wet and I come in and touch this so I need to give it more time to dry now okay so we're gonna you know go in and just do the gradation okay and then we're gonna drop in some of the quinacridone burn orange but at this point you don't have to worry okay and so same thing I'm going to uh, go in and put some mix some indigo with some royal blue or you can just use indigo if you don't have royal blue or you can use uh, indigo and ultramarine okay now this is the ultramarine that I have that I have for a long time I just want to show you guys that just for fun um, and I'm going to go in here and uh, just uh, beginning to get this area kind of wet okay kind of wet okay now I know that we're gonna have some of this um, 
sh round shape and line you know so I can do that just to show you but we don't really have to do it at this point because we really are just doing the first layer okay and so um, I'm coming in with uh, a little bit of clean brush because I know uh, how the how the indigo like to behave indigo sometimes just love to um, you know not wait for me not wait for me don't give me time and then you know settle the settlement you know because it's sedimentary color right but you know it's too bad for me that I just really like it so much and I use that a whole lot okay and so I uh, I just have to bear in mind that I have to come in and you know and do that now I just go in with more indigo okay because now that this area is a little bit of wet, it doesn't really matter, the indigo is not going to... Um, well, it will still, you know, if your, if your painting is beginning to dry, but it will still, um, you know, try to, you know, leave a line there. But, you know, after the first uh, little bit of water has uh, put into the paper, I'm not as, uh, I'm not as uh, worried, okay? Okay, back to more indigo. Now, because I have this, I, I already told you guys, right? I, I like to tell you this. I talk about things, you know, every time my, uh, I have a very, very, really bright light over here. So it's telling me that um, my indigo is very, very dark and strong, okay? Because then I can see that, right? However, um, my uh, camcorder that I, I'm filming from now on, you know, is, uh, is um, uh, what is it? It's a... Uh, it's a optical, optical soon. It's a canyon, right? It's a canyon camcorder, and uh, you know I've um, do enough research that people say the canyon just needs so much light, and so we can just flood it with light, okay? And so I'm going to even add more light, and so it is a little harder. Uh, what I'm seeing and what you're seeing is uh, totally different. I just wanted you to know that, and so. Um, you know, I, I can see that this is a very dark color on a very, very bright, uh, on a very, very bright, bright piece of uh, white paper. But as for you, you might not see it uh, the same I do. So I'm trying to do my best. And like my daughter wanted me to remind all of you, you know, uh, since she thinks that um, I have enough light, and this light is very, very hot too, you know, but it's LED light and it's still very hot. And so she say, you know, just uh, remind the people that are my people, you know, she call me my, she call you guys my people that are watching this, that you guys uh, can turn on the bright, okay? When you're painting along, you can uh, turn on the bright, as bright as you can, then you can uh, see the, now I, what I did is I just dropped in my uh, sap green, okay? I just dropped in my sap green and uh, I'm gonna soften this area, you know, the sap green also like to form a line too. Sap cream is uh, also sedimentary, but not as bad as, uh, not as, uh, well, I wouldn't call it bad because I'm really grateful to find in the cold color, but uh, not as intense and easy uh, trying to form a line as the indigo, okay? And so you can see that there's a graduation of color, right? And that's very pretty, if I may say so. And what I'm going to do is I'm just having fun. I'm going to put some turquoise over here, okay? Because we're going to have turquoise coming in from the water okay I like to uh, drop in turquoise when I paint water so I'm just um, I hope that you guys will be able to go find yourself some turquoise color and that will be fun you know instead of uh, just in the gold and royal blue uh, for the water and if you can then go ahead and feel free and just have fun with it okay now I'm going over here and I'm going to do a little bit of a difference. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, because I know that this, this area is lighter, okay? So I'm gonna first put in some royal blue over here, okay? On the arm area, you know, still the circle area. And then uh, I'm gonna come in here. And then, uh, you know, this is just to remind me that, you know, in the, um, I'm going to put in some of these lines to further enhance the form, okay, of the turtle, right? And then uh, right next to the royal blue, I'm going to drop in just ever so slightly some turquoise, okay? At first when I, um, now over here really uh, is not quite, you know, so much uh, problem, but let's just put in our sunshine cadmium medium, oh, sorry. Sunshine yellow, I'm supposed to put in a yellow ochre, okay? Let's just do that, okay? And so we have some sunshine yellow 
you know, coming from the top of the arm, right? But over here, because of the nature or the characteristic of a turtle, we actually will have to put some uh, dark blue or gray over there because that's just the, you know, the, the shell, I guess the hard part of the arm, right? So we're not going to worry, you know, if this, uh, you don't put a lot of yellow or a little yellow, that become the base color. Isn't that kind of fun that uh, the turtle is coming into shape, okay? And uh, so over here, because uh, Kathy, me, is uh, someone who likes color. So I'm going to use uh, the dioxazine purple. It's the blue purple that we use uh, on our, uh, on our, um, we use that quite a bit on our, on our little um, uh, whale, okay? Last time I'm gonna put that over there because you know what turtle always suggests to the eye I mean, no, purple always suggests to the eye that it is a dark color, okay? It is a dark area, and so in, to make it even more darker, I'm going to just lay the paints gray right on top of the purple, okay? Because uh, I think a while ago, I don't remember what painting, because now that I'm painting and talking at the same time, that I have told um, all of you that um, purple and paints gray is actually a very, very... Uh, pretty color mix. Okay, now you can see that I'm like uh, doing brush stroke that make this look like the the fold, you know, of the turtle, right? Because turtle, we know they have a lot of fold in their skin, and uh, we're using that as a way to help us to enhance the shape. Okay, I got some purple over there. Okay, now so what I will do, like when I drop my brush, right? Like so right now, before it has chance to settle, I just put in some water and it's just like an eraser. It'll just take the take the purple color out. But with purple, purple is also very sedimentary. Okay, so we need to know. Okay, we need to like go really fast. Okay, now I'm going to zoom in just a little bit for one second for you guys to see. Okay, can you see that? This is what I'm doing here. Okay, that's, that, that's just the fold. Like, um, like the fold of uh you know like of my arm you know when i bend it this way there's that fold i'm using that to enhance the shape of the turtle okay i need to go back out because uh yeah when i go too uh close then it just um you know it's just um not good okay so i need to you know make sure that i wanted to show that to you but not uh, keep doing that <laughs> okay now um we did that with that uh, fold and now uh, we might be able to want to do a little bit of the fold over here should we do that let's do that okay now this part is quite dry okay so we just take the indigo and come in here okay and uh do that you know that kind of like a you know circle okay i'll just uh zoom in a little bit so you can see okay use that so you use your brush as just like a pencil you're drawing with it right you're drawing with it okay just a little bit because over this side it's not as apparent okay now if the line is too sharp i always think it's too sharp then i'll just come in and i will just uh kind of soften it you know so you know it's like you see it and you don't see it okay and uh just to be consistent i'm going to put a little bit of uh uh, paint spray over there and then I'm going to go pick up my purple my dark blue purple color and drop a little bit in there okay okay isn't that fun okay so I hope that you can see this area a little bit better okay I'm zooming uh, zooming out again okay I think that's uh, sufficiently zoom out okay now so we get the you know the two arm I'm uh, actually quite happy now let's work on the face of our beautiful uh, turtle. So what I'm going to do is, you know, they have these, uh, uh, I call it a patchy area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I have choose to use uh, the indigo plus, indigo plus uh, paint gray. And on the very, very uh, top part that's failing, facing the sun, which is, I'm going into now, okay. Now I didn't, I, I'm just picking up the indigo. I haven't even put a, uh, pick up the paint spray because you know a lot of the time my favorite way now I'm using a clean brush and pulling this pulling this out okay pulling this uh this indigo color out okay and then I'm going to drop just uh, at the very very top a little bit of green over there okay and so see how pretty the patch is I hope that you can see that okay I'm going to do this again you know can you see that that uh, gradation of color it's just very very pretty okay I like to do things like that and so I'm going back to the indigo and just uh, quickly um, do the patch over here, okay? A little bit patch over here. 
I actually have some uh, pencil line because um, sometimes I, you know, try to think too much now. What do I want over here? And so when I'm filming, I like, I, I like to have some pencil line. Okay, so that's indigo color. Okay, pulling a little bit out and the same process. Okay, drop uh, just a tiny drop of green over there. Okay, and so it looks really, really um, good. You know, just the mix of uh, the, you know, the color that is mixing in here. Okay. So that's the patchy of the, you know, the characteristic of the turtle, right? Of the uh, sea turtle. You know, we, uh, um, I was so excited because um, I, I told you I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and I went on a mission a long time ago, right? And uh, so my mission president, who is the one that was over us, he, uh, I think it was just a few years ago, he wanted us to um, all go to um, visit him in Hawaii in his house. And so he lived in Lai'i and that was really close to Turtle Bay, right? And I thought, oh wow, I get to go to Turtle Bay. And they say that if you like get up really, really early in the morning, you can actually see sometimes, if you're very lucky, to see the turtle coming in, um, in the morning, right? And I was uh, already, oh, so excited. Uh, well, you know, and the story is, I'm not going to tell you a long story. <laughs> I didn't get to go because my husband has a chance to go to uh, Basel uh, to present a conference and he wanted uh, us to go, me, me and my daughter, to go with him because we can actually visit um, his ancestors' um, village in Italy, which is quite close. We, it's uh, just a train ride away. And he said, well, um, Kathy, this is once a, once a lifetime, so I uh, think that we should give up our, because my husband went on the same mission as I do, right? So we actually gave up on the chance to go to Hawaii, went to Basel instead, and we went into Italy. I, I think one day I will paint some kind of a, you know, of a flower or plant, plant, and then we will talk about that area. It was really beautiful too, but man, I wish the, uh, I mean, I missed the turtle uh, sighting. You know, I talk about, you know, I don't like to talk about things like that because I don't want you guys to know that I am like a world traveler and spend a lot of money. I don't. I really don't travel that much. I only travel when I absolutely have to. Um, I wish I could fly myself, like have wings and uh, see places and things, okay? Now, I'm still working on just a different spot, okay? So we don't have to talk about that much so I like to uh, talk about things with you you know I am not like that I'm not a now let's change to a now a really small detail brush oh let's use this one let's use this one okay because what I want to do is I at this point I just wanted to do some line on the eye okay so I'm picking up the paint spray and this is a very very um a very very fine brush that I got from the oriental art supply supply and they sell Chinese brushes and uh, uh, somebody actually asked me about this brush after I use it on the, on the. Uh, so I'm I just put some paint spray in here, okay? So to uh, make this eye just kind of pop out, you know, because the eye is kind of like a ball, right? It's like a ball. So there's this dark area, and I'm going to just put that shadow area, okay? And I wanted to use this is a very flexible brush. It is true, okay? But however. Um, it is not a, I'm going to pick up some more paint spray and see if I there's enough to do the shadow of underneath the the, the mouth of the turtle, okay? There need to be a little bit of a shadow over here. Ah, ah, I lost my I lost my picture that I'm looking at. Oh there this is back. Okay. Now um, so I'm going to just uh, put a little bit, okay? So you can see this brush, okay? Now this brush really doesn't have a lot of hair. Now, I've been using this one, and you know, I have another one, but I just don't want to, you know, I, I like to go hop from here and there, you know, to try my brushes. And so, I'm using, I'm just trying to, uh, not trying, I used this a long time ago, and I'm just bringing it back, okay? Now, this brush is also uh, quite uh, uh, temperamental, because there's not, there's only a few hair on it. And so, if you wanted to uh, try this brush, I will link it on my product, product uh, link on my blog, and uh, you can do that. But I just wanted you to know that um, their tem is a temperamental brush. Okay, it doesn't hold really that much. Uh, like, see, I'm trying to do a little bit of a slight spot over here using that brush. It doesn't, you know, really hold that much uh, paint or water. 
Okay, so you have to re-dip it and it will just, uh, you know, go dry really fast, okay? And so, you know, just something that, it, but, you know, if you wanted to try it, you know, it will be something, you know, it will be just fun for you, okay? And I, uh, I uh, don't, you know, suggest uh, you guys to do that either way, you know, but, um, you know, if you wanted to, you can, okay? Now I'm going back to my flow brush, okay? And Quinaca don't burn orange time because, you know, over here, I wanted to put a, just a little bit, okay? Just a little bit over here. You know, just uh, to just drop the burnt orange color here and there. You know, that's an artist's discretion, you know, to just bring out some, uh, brighten out some color, you know. And then uh, this, uh, this uh, I'm going to use some royal blue and just like kind of put some over here, okay? So it's not so white just right next to the Quinacodon Burn Orange too, okay? There's some royal blue over there. And then uh, I will, I think I will just use the full brush and go into the paint gray. And uh, what I'm going to do at this point, and I'm going to put some of the wrinkly skin of the wrinkly, uh, not a lot of detail of the wrinkle, okay? Because uh, you know me, I don't like a lot of details, but you know, since I know that, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know. T of course, we all know that. You know, you know it too. The turtle has a lot of wrinkly skin. You know, they live for so long. You know, I forgot to check. I wanted to check and see what is the lifespan of the turtle. And I'm sure that some of you already know. Okay, and uh, you know, that's just uh, to put some wrinkle on it. Okay, so that you know, it's suggestion that this is not a the 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 turtle is not a very very. Um, a very very smooth uh, <laughs> kind of uh, okay now I'm uh, going back over here okay I'm, I'm going to talk uh, I'm going to use the fold folded skin method okay to further enhance the form okay so you can you know in no way can you not uh, understand that this turtle is uh, quite wrinkly and the face is quite like an egg okay not not just an oval okay I'm gonna come in here and use the paint gray and just kind of do that same, you know, going along with the fold, okay? But not a lot, okay? Not a lot because uh, we don't want to just the whole painting see wrinkles, right? We want to see it here and there. And then our eye will just uh, know that what I'm trying to tell you, okay? And then we're, you know, pushing it uh, towards the more lighted area over here. So I'm dropping some, dropping some uh, sap green over here, okay? So the turtle, you know, is not a, this turtle really, really is quite, um, quite, a, quite a colorful thing, okay? So, but I never seen it, yeah, yeah, because of that time. So my husband took me to Basel and so I can't, you know, really see um, my mission president at the, and so, you know, I'm not like, uh, like I was telling you, I'm not one who like to just, um, you know, go travel a lot. You know, I'm kind of like a very calm person Staying most of the time, really. Okay, and uh, that, that's just the way I am. And so um, we haven't even gone back. And so I don't even know in my lifetime will I ever see Turtle Bay, okay? Uh, I, <laughs> I hope that I might, okay? But I don't know. And if I don't, that would be okay with me too. You know, I am. I'm a very easy to please, please kind of people, okay? And so now I'm looking at this and I, I wanted to make sure that I draw it correctly, the perspective and that the turtle is you know, the line is going this way and that way, okay? And you see what I'm doing in a minute now, okay? Uh, actually, it's that way. Okay, yeah, that's good. Okay, come over here and then have this one come over here. Okay, I will show you that later, okay? So, like right now, um, maybe we should work on a little bit more over here, the shadow, okay, before we go into here. Because if I go into here and then I work, over here, sometimes I don't like my hand just rubbing. Okay, now, so the turtle, this is the shell of the turtle and I haven't painted yet. So I'm going to paint it now, okay? And so since it's uh, closer to the top, you know, I'm going to do a royal blue, just a light wash of royal, royal blue over here, okay? Okay, mixed with uh, sap green, okay? So it's just a very uh, pleasing, kind of like a light blue and green color, okay? And that's all I wanted the top part uh, to look like. Okay, just a light blue, light blue and green color, and uh, and then I will um, show you what I'm going to do when I come back. Okay, maybe a little bit more royal blue to make it a little bit more intense. Okay, 
because we can hardly see the shell over there, okay? And then uh, we do hardly see the shell over here. So I actually uh, need to uh, actually put uh, a little bit more, you know, of this going actually up this way because, um, you know, to make sure the perspective is correct, okay? And so, okay, over there like that. This area is actually quite dry. And so this is uh, part of the, you know, part of the tummy, actually, the tummy part. And I will come over here when it's dry and deal with it. The, so the shell is like just a little bit. So in order for me to suggest to you that there is the, you know, um, continuation of the shell, I'm going to just put a line of blue, okay, very slightly over there, okay, so that I am getting all my perspective correct, okay. And this area needs to just kind of go like this, okay? Now, and so now I'm working on this area. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up some burn umber. Okay, 36 minutes. I'm 36 minutes into the recording, okay? Mix up some of the burn umber with black, okay? And then I'm going to come over here and make this a very, very black area. Because what we're seeing is the, the shell of the turtle casting a shadow. Okay, but then ever so, ever so slightly while we're doing it, we're going to uh, leave some so that leave some area so that the quinacridone burn orange will actually show through. Okay, from the bottom. Okay, but still a very very dark area. A little bit of an arch. Okay, because that's the perspective you're seeing. Okay, and then I'm going to come down here and go get some more burn orange. Okay and just pull the color out so that you can see that this is a very, very dark and shadowy area, okay? Now, it looks like I'm losing my quinacridone burn orange, but you know, you don't have to worry about that. You know, I will come back and and we will, you will see me adding the burn orange color. So it's actually, it will become quite bright, quite bright and pretty. Okay, so now I'm, you, you know, enhancing this this dark area okay so I'm I can suggest that and then you can see it with your eye that it is quite a dark area okay okay and I think that that, that is that is actually quite enough okay I don't want to lose the shape of the round shape over there right just uh, take care and don't do that okay so that's all I'm gonna do, okay? And I'm gonna just uh, kind of soften this area down. And I'm going to come back and intensify the area, okay? Don't worry. And then over here, I wanna drop some royal blue color over here. Okay. Just to um, make sure that the turtle still have uh, his wrinkle, okay? He's looking kind of wrinkly. <laughs> because I wanted him to <laughs> look uh, kind of wrinkly, you know, and still the wrinkle actually, you know, from the picture that I'm looking at, there's actually a little bit of that round area, so we can actually do that, okay? Do some suggestion of that folded skin over here, okay? To enhance it, okay, right? Uh, to enhance it, and I'm going to put some, a little bit of yellow over here, because, you know, when you are doing a uh, you know the sea turtle you can actually be brave and put in a lot of color because it's in the sea right and so it's uh, actually quite nice now what I'm going to do is let, let's do this part of the shell first okay and so I'm going to go back to the quinacridone burn orange and pick up some of the color okay and now I'm ready I'm ready to go over here and then I'll come back in with some dark color okay when it's uh, kind of dryish okay now I'm going to come in and, uh, and I'm going to come in and put and continue to put some of this over here. Okay. And then I'm going to put some uh, burn umber and mix that in and kind of drop it, drop the color into the, into the, into this brown over here, into this uh, burn, burn, uh, quinacridone burn orange. Okay. So. Yeah, there's a lot of color that we need to kind of keep our, our mind, you know, on it, okay? And so, now that's more mostly burnt umber, so we're gonna... Um, we're gonna continue. 
continue to do that a little bit, okay? Not too much. Okay, now I'm going to leave that and kind of soften this area because this area belongs to this shell over here, okay? And so what I'm going to do is I am going to let that area dry, okay? And I'm going to... Now, let's uh, go back over here because now you can see there's uh, some inconsistent with the color, right? And so it just kind of irks me a little bit because I plan to come back and do that. But uh, if it irks me, then I'm going to do it now. I pick up some quinacridone burnt orange and go back in you know, the area, and then I put that back in. Isn't that fun? Okay. And so that, that color and that color, because, you know, his arm is in the front, is covering the consistency or, I mean, the, uh, the follow through of that area, right? And so the color needs to be consistent. And so I just did that. Isn't that fun? Okay. So over here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do blue and then uh, green, and then I'm going to do yellow ochre. Okay. And so, royal blue and uh, indigo blue, okay? And I'm going to come in here because this is the bottom part, okay? Now, I'm going to separate these two areas in a minute and you will be able to see that. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing, okay? Just uh, put some indigo and royal blue mix and hope that uh, it doesn't cause a line. But if it does, then not going to let it bother me, okay? And, uh, and I'll just come over here. Uh, trying to work as fast as I can get some in the go while this is area is still wet and uh, so it will look darker okay it will look darker um, so and I have a drop in the area okay this color right here has in the go and royal blue mix and uh, especially this one it's very very important that you turn up the the brightness because you know it's really fun the color of the turtle is just really really fun and so I want you guys to see how fun it is and have fun with me, okay, on that count. Like I was uh, just talking to you, I'm not uh, someone who likes to um, go uh, travel a lot. I guess I, I would like it, you know, I do like it and I appreciate that if my husband say, let's uh, go here, we have a chance to go there, but I'm uh, much of a homebody. I like to go hiking and... Uh, Hiking around Yellowstone and uh, and uh, around where I live in Utah is uh, very very fun for me. Okay, now I'm coming in to drop the green. Okay, so I'm doing a gradation of color again. Okay, I guess uh, this painting we can uh, learn a lot of uh, gradation. We're gonna put color right next to color. Now because this green is mixed so well, <clears throat> ah, lost my voice. Need to drink some water. Okay, just a, just a second. Just turn off my camcorder and come back, okay? And uh, because this green mix so well, right? It's my, um, it's my, uh, it's my, uh, you know, 20 years of experience. I like the indigo plus the sap green. And now I like to put royal green, royal blue, sorry, with it. And so these colors, they mix so well. So I don't really ever have to worry about um, them making mud. I suppose that if I'm not careful, they will make some mud. Yellow ochre, you have to be a little bit uh, careful with it, okay? Because yellow ochre does have black in it. and uh, You know, I don't know what kind of black people use, you know, to make that. And so it could turn into mud a little bit. But um, I'm since this is an animal, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to pick up the yellow ochre and just be very, very careful, okay? and uh, put it over because I think the seashell is not a cadmium yellow uh, uh, medium okay it's more like a yellow ochre so I just kind of want to chew to what I believe the color is okay so I'm going to do that and so when I put that right next to wet I'm actually put that right next to the wet green you know I am actually quite careful not to let the two color mingle together too much Okay, just uh, kind of stay away, you know, have a little area there so it can stay away and so it wouldn't turn into mud, right? And that's how I, uh, how I do things. But also, if you are uncomfortable and you don't want the color to turn into mud, then try not to do it while you are, um, try not to do the yellow and let the green have sufficient time to dry uh, before you do that, okay? But um, do you see how uh, happy uh, this turtle is turning into? I'm very, very happy with the color mix of him or her, him, 
Yeah, we've been calling him Mr. Turtle, right? And so now he's almost... Uh, he is just fun. You guys should do it. You know, if you are watching this, just... Um, okay, now I'm, I'm just coming in here and do some of the folded skin, okay? Because I know this area is... Uh, and I'm going to do some folded skin over here. A little more... Um, what do you call that? A little more intense of folded skin, okay? But, you know, we really don't need to. If you don't want to, you don't have to, okay? But just make sure you don't do too much, okay? Because uh, too much of a uh, good thing is really too much when we come to painting. It really is. And so this is just uh, blue and purple. And uh, because I want to bring some... Oh, let's let's put some of the purple over here while this is still wet, okay? Just so that we can, we can have it consistent. And you know, that's how I like to do things, okay? And then we're gonna just do the same over there, okay? But since I'm still working on here, then uh, I don't want to put uh, too much over there. I'll do the turtle, the lake in a minute, okay? Now, so what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to do the dark color that's coming in on the arm, okay? And I told you that uh, there is, uh, when this is dry, I'm gonna put a little bit of blue color um, over here so that um, I can make a line, not not a not a fine line, okay? I'm going to just put it over here and then I'm quickly gonna come in and soften it, okay? So, uh, especially the top part of the line, okay? Because um, the shadow is rolling because the arm is a tube, right? So the shadow is like kind of rolling and you don't want to have a, have a fine line when the shadow is rolling, okay? How about that? Isn't that fun? A soft, a soft kind of fine line. How, how's that? If that makes sense at all. I hope you guys uh, can decipher my talking, okay? Now I'm putting some indigo, more intense indigo to darken that area. Okay? So you can see that the, there is a roll, a fold, you know, on the turtle, okay? And so let's see if I needed to do that on the other side. Ah, let me think. You know, maybe a little bit over here, okay? Just a little bit of a line over here. Okay, now you know that I'm going to just really quickly, you know, clean my brush and then I come coming in, uh, okay, and soften that line, okay? So it's not a harsh line. We don't want a harsh line, okay? Soft, soft, soft. Okay, so that's what, we, that's what we're gonna do, okay? Now I'm coming back in here because I know that the turtle has this, this kind of color, you know, need to come over here, okay? So we're gonna do that. And then I'm going to use white and you see me. Now what I'm doing is I'm mixing uh, in the gold plus the royal blue, okay? Okay, I'm going to just ever so slightly let the, the harsher part of the turtle, you know, make sure that we paint that part, okay? So that's what I'm doing right now, okay? Do you guys like to travel? I don't know, some are always, um, you know, I know that there are a lot of beaches in the uh, United States too that I, you know, we should visit, you know. But, uh, you know, when I, you know, when I travel, I really, you know, if I'm going overseas or anything, I really want to learn something. Not a big traveler. I don't like to spend uh, a lot of money doing that, you know. And uh, that's just the way... Uh, you know, I do things, you know, but uh, I'm sure that, you know, I, I have uh, some of you guys uh, really enjoy traveling and I, I, uh, that will be fun. I like to hear what you guys like to do. You know, I'm part of the, uh, per, I think my reason is uh, because I, uh, I really have problem with the plane. It's, I'm doing better now because my husband got me some kind of a watch so that I don't have to get motion sickness. And uh, when I was young, I really get a lot of motion sickness when I travel. And the first time, you know, I travel, guess what I did? You cannot believe it. The first time I was on a plane, that's how little travel. Yeah, because my, my, my family was quite poor, right? And so my father, of course, didn't like take us to travel a lot um, at all. You know, he took uh, my brother and my mom and my sister. They went to Thailand to see his aunt, okay? Um, and she was still in Thailand at that time. I actually met her in Montreal Park in California. And I'll tell you a little bit if I have time 
about the story and uh, and so my uh, my my mom and my brother get a time time a chance to fly to Thailand but not for me I was uh, home because my father couldn't and he was just saying goodbye to his aunt you know um, and so I'm going to pull a little bit of that blue color out you know so that just a little bit okay like that and so I'm going to do a little bit over here um, so they went to Thailand and uh, you cannot believe uh, so I didn't go with them me and my second brother didn't go with them we were at home and you cannot believe what uh, happened to me in my first time therefore you know I because I didn't go right I didn't get the chance to go we were so poor and um, the first time I actually go was when I immigrate to America first time on the airplane and uh, I remember it was about 14 hours I remember that's what my father said okay so we're gonna be on the plane for 14 hours and my father was so nervous um, that day he was so so nervous because uh, you know he uh, had bring a lot of black mushroom he you know he thought I guess he thought he couldn't buy black mushroom in America so he bought a lot of black mushroom with him and so he was very, very worried uh, that the custom is going to take his black mushroom because black mushroom is like very good. You know, I have developed allergy to it, so I can't have it anymore. <laughs> so my father bring in the black mushroom, okay, to United States in the vase and everything. So, you know, we didn't get to bring any clothes, you know. All, all we did is bring his black mushroom because that's his love, you know, he loved to eat those so much. And so he was very, very nervous. And so he didn't like really, you know, well, my father, you know, him, he, uh, he doesn't bother with us very much. You know, we, uh, we kind of run wild the most of the time. And, um, and uh, so here, uh, um, I start throwing up <laughs> on the plane. <laughs> Because there must be something wrong with my ear. I had a very, very bad uh, car accident when I was young. Really, really bad. I think I must be either four or five years old. And so I had... Um, now, so what I did is I put some indigo color and make, make, and then I pull it out. I pull the color out with a clean brush just a little bit, okay? And I find that that look makes, makes it look really good. And so... Um, Oh my gosh, I didn't know that that was going to happen to me. And of course, my father didn't know, my mom didn't know. But my mom also is kind of, eh, she's just kind of happy going. She doesn't really care. And so she just uh, take care of my little sister, who was, I think I was 15 years old. And my little sister, so then must be nine or ten, nine years old, okay? And so uh, she just uh, bothered to take care of my little sister and let me get sick everybody just let me get sick and they're really annoyed with me but they didn't say anything uh, my family and uh, the poor stewardess you know I just I uh, one time I couldn't make it to the bathroom because somebody was in there and so and I have used up all of my bags my uh, the bags that they have over there so that was very very embarrassing and uh, I uh, I was 15 years old and I, I I'm really kind of awkward, you know, I really am kind of awkward of a person. So I went and told the stewardess after um, all of the content of my stomach was empty, I felt really bad because I saw how she had to clean up that one mess of mine. And so I went and say sorry to her and uh, my English was atrocious, but at least I know how to say sorry. And so I went and say sorry to her, told her in my English, uh, first time on plane, you know, um, and uh, she understand a very very gentle and sweet uh, you know person you know and uh, it's a really good lesson to me you know if I can try my very best just be kind to other people right I mean even though at 15 years old I was very I, I'm uh, graduating to using green okay and that's enough for me I don't want to line the whole place okay so that is enough okay and I think that that is very very pretty okay now uh, right now I'm going to use this uh, use this detail brush okay and I'm going to you know do some of the crack okay I'm just use going to get some paints gray color okay the crack of the of the of the turtle breastplate okay I'll call it breastplate because I I really am lack of uh, words uh, to describe this turtle okay I'm gonna put in some paint gray and go do on the breastplate And so, you know, my father, of course, was glaring at me the whole time, but he didn't want to bother. You know, he was kind of intimidated, too, by the plane. Of course, nowadays, people fly so many times, they don't really, 
you know, get intimidated by anything, right? But uh, so they, you know, only the stewardess uh, felt very bad for me. <laughs> my sibling and my father certainly did not, <laughs> and my mom. <sighs> But uh, and so it really was traumatizing to me because uh, you know here I was going to America, right? And uh, I was 15 years old, and I already was uh, you know have a very bad attitude because I have to leave all my friends in Hong Kong. And you know how teenager are when you have to leave your friends. That's like the worst thing that could happen to you, right? And so I was very very uh, unhappy, and here I was throwing up and have 14 hours to go. <laughs> so that was my experience and uh, you know when I finally landed in America I was totally trash I really was trash and I will have these lines for you okay when I when I draw the turtle so you guys uh, can have somewhere to if you're going to um, try to paint that you have some you know lines to follow okay but it is so slight okay you can hardly see it you know, I had to do research and because it's hard to see the breastplate of a turtle. And so I went and do research and actually find out how they actually look like. And so I, uh, I miss my friend, I miss Hong Kong and uh, I thought that was the most awful thing that could happen to me. You know, everybody was mad at me and uh, but that was okay. I got over that. Just didn't like to travel and so that become uh, I didn't travel for years because you know one is you don't have money right okay and then I have the line here and there make sure that I you know make sure I put the line here and there okay but not a lot of line okay that's the way I am I don't like to uh, have a, a very very busy uh, let me try to make sure, okay, I need a little bit of a line over here. So same thing, I go in with my pink spray color, and then I'm going to, you know, just uh, just uh, put some characteristic of the turtle and make sure that, you know, I would just call that their wrinkle line, okay? So that I am, you know, kind of, you know, kind of true to color, right? true to characteristic let's just say that not color okay and then uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to okay let's see okay I need to go into with the white color but I still think that there should be a little bit more burnt orange but the lighter color of uh, worth of it and so I'm gonna just come over here and just uh, drop a little bit of burnt orange over there here okay drop a little bit of that I think it looks good you know and so what this turtle is is that you would um, if you are going to paint it then you will really enjoy the the um, you know you will really enjoy uh, you know doing the detail if you're the kind of person that like details okay that's a lot of details I, I actually like details I'm a detail person when it comes to painting too uh, when it comes to like um, not details I mean I don't mind things having a lot of um, of uh, you know a lot of people will just say that you know but I like to you know like uh, you know painting buildings is okay with me you know and things like that now what I'm doing is I'm using this fine brush and doing the crack the crack of the shelves okay um, okay coming in here so I'm you know, I'm true to the turtle, right? And um, But I don't like busy. I guess I should say that I don't like busy. I don't like busy, but I don't mind doing turtle, uh, doing uh, details, but I don't like busy. I think that is a, a very, very good way of describing the way that I am, okay? Okay, and so I am I wanted to have a little bit of uh, a paint spray over here to separate the, the cleft of the turtle, okay? So you can see that, you know, there's the cleft, okay? Yeah, that looks good, okay? You know, just using that as shadow, so the turtle mouth go like this, right? And so we're gonna, we're gonna do that, okay? Now I'm going to do the hind legs, okay? So there's nothing but uh, indigo with some blue. 
you know, indigo with some blue, and then I will drop in some uh, purple over here, okay? There's two, this two little triangle area. But you don't have to worry too much because my drawing will be there with you, okay? But don't do it like a flat color, you know, because uh, it still has uh, folding skin and wrinkles. So make sure that you, um, you know, just don't, don't do one layer of color on there, okay? But this should be dark, it should be darker. But anyway, my husband uh, finally get me a very, very good watch that actually took away my motion sickness. But I think it's just my, you know, because I didn't travel, you know, or hate to travel for so many years. If each time I know I need to travel, you know, so we, we actually went back to Hong Kong when my first daughter was about three, four years old. You know, because my husband wanted to see if he would like to work for the Hong Kong University, right? And uh, so I say, well, I haven't been to Hong Kong for so long. I also went to Hong Kong on my mission. And uh, so I went with him and I also throw up the whole time. <laughs> because we, the, the invention of the watch was not there. And uh, so I just did that. <laughs> you know, and uh, I, we, we actually stopped at Japan at that time. And uh, it was not fun. Yeah. Just not fun. Okay, now I have this uh, little area. Uh, maybe it is uh, too big of an area. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer a layer of uh, dark green and blue wash over here, and then I will uh, do a couple of like kind of corally uh, things here, but uh, ever so slightly. Okay, so that's just suggestion, so that um, you guys um, can see that this. Uh, uh, beautiful Mr. Turtle is actually going through. Okay, so I'm just dropping in the gold color over here, okay? And so as I drop my indigo color, I'm going to drop um, green with it, okay? So it's just a progression, okay, of color. Just like, uh, much like that, okay? And so I'm going to let the painting mix color over here, okay? So just uh, to suggest the bottom of the C, and then I'm going to uh, go off camera, actually, and uh, go off filming and actually make the cracks. Make the cracks of the... Um, of the... Uh, of the... Uh, the bottom of the sea and like the rocks, the cracks of the world, rocks and vegetation, okay? So I won't be doing it right in front of you, okay? But I hope that you guys uh, can follow it along and then I'm going to actually do some water background because I am not comfortable with uh, painting a turtle that's supposed to be under the sea but without ocean water, right? And you know, this color will be kind of muted and it will be very, very pretty, okay? But you guys have seen me uh, do background a lot and so I'm going to just do that. Okay, and so what I'm doing is uh, this area is actually quite wet, okay? I'm using some indigo, some indigo and some royal blue, you know, a little bit or royal blue more of an indigo, and then this is the rock area, okay, that's coming down. So I'm going to just do that, and then, uh, and then I'll go back in with some uh, more detail, okay? And so I like to drop green and I drop in the gold and green and then, uh, you know, just because it's just dark, okay? So I don't want to, you know, put too much color here just to um, uh, mislead you guys that, you know, because color can be misleading, right? If uh, I have too much light color, then it actually suggests the sun and the sun is not over here, okay? So I'm just going to, you know do the darker color so that it will be darker and then pull the color down okay and then um, I might go in and put some more but I wanted to do some vegetation over here so I'm gonna you know I'm coming over here and then I will just use the uh, sap green okay strict and then I'm going to just uh, you know you see that that uh, that uh, sap green going into this wet area is very very nice okay 
And so I'm going to just do that. Okay. I do like to go to Asia, you know, because that's where I, I'm from, and I, I like that. I, I like going to Asia, and I guess now that I'm not very sick now, I just put some indigo down here, okay? Because it's like the lower, the further down, then you can just use some more indigo and indicate, okay? Indicate the color, and then I'm going to let this color you know go up a little bit because this is like kind of the background right as we always do our background we don't worry about it too much now but because we are in uh, at the sea you know we don't want the white there so when we're doing the whole background then we will come in and fill in the white okay because the white will be kind of inconsistent if we do that okay to have white okay so that's kind of pretty and then uh, what am I going to do? Oh yeah, I did do royal blue, and so I'm going to do royal blue. Okay, and if you, um, you know, just say, oh, Kathy, I, I can't, you know, do the... Um, uh, now, this is going to be kind of like a round shape, okay? Because uh, in the sea, the coral and all the color kind of come in different shape, okay? So I'm not going to... You know, do them all and uh, going straight up, okay? It's just kind of like a round shape. And then I'll come in and fill in the area with the C color. Now, yeah, if you, you know, really, um, you know, am lost about the C color and how to do the background, then go back to my, um, go back to my uh, uh, wheel, okay? And then because in that one, I actually show you guys in detail how to do that, okay? And I'll put in some green color over there, okay? And now, uh, just to be consistent, I want some uh, corally um, and yellowish uh, stuff that's growing up here, okay? Abstract, okay? It doesn't really, it doesn't really uh, mean anything or I'm not suggesting anything, but they're there. And then, you know, as viewer, you know, right? You will know I'm trying to do the bottom of the sea. And then I'm going to drop some medium yellow, cadmium medium yellow to mix with that, okay? And since I use some yellow, then I put some maybe over here just to make it consistent with the turtle, okay? Not disjointed, right? Okay. And then um, I will drop some brown over there, you know, to suggest the the darker of the form. I, I know that why I relate summer with um, with uh, sea and creatures and stuff like that because my father in the summer when we were in Hong Kong here he's a beach bum my father really is a beach bum um, here uh, he can just go swimming every day if he can but he go in the weekend because we have to work and uh, and so I uh, you know it's just like childhood memory right summer and the sea but now that I'm grown and we live in Utah we don't really you know okay so that's uh, what I'm showing you and then I might put some uh, more green over here and uh, should I just do that with you okay maybe I'll just do that with you just do some green over there and uh, and then I have to say goodbye Okay, let's go behind his uh, leg, okay? I have never been scuba diving too either, and so that might be something that we might learn some time, but like, like I tell you, I'm truly <laughs> telling you my personality. I would not probably go seek out things like that, right? Because um, I, uh, that's just the way I am, but um, I think being able to go swim with um, fishes and such might be a really good thing to do and so i might want to do that someday you know but i'm getting old you know i'm 56 years old and so you know if i'm gonna try things you know you know some things that include uh strength and sports i i need to do that soon i don't know <laughs>
you guys can tell me, you know, if you have an opinion on uh, things like that, you know. You know, to be honest with you, I am a kind of person, I just work, I just work a lot, I don't sit still very much at home, you know, and my, uh, my husband and children always say that about me, I don't really sit still very much. And now if I put another vegetation there, it's because I think that the composition needed it, okay? But as far as the, this is concerned, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some cracks on the wall, on the rock here. Okay, so it's nothing. Just use a, uh, a this brush or a finer brush and put some deeper in the gold color of purple. Okay, to suggest the cracks and then uh, uh, to suggest that that is a piece of rock. And then I might, you know, maybe over here, you know, you know, do some of the blue. The maybe some rocks over here and and some blue, uh, and some of these royal blue and this color, and then just suggest the busyness of the bottom of the sea. And then I will do a wash. And then that will be the end of the... And then you will see this, okay? You will see this. Okay, one point before I leave, okay? Over here, I need to have some dark indigo because there's a separation between the shell and the meat, right? And I'm so glad that I just saw it and I didn't just let you go without, uh, you know, doing some kind of separation over here, okay? Okay, so that will be more true you know, to the form. Okay, and now I'm using some, just a, a clean brush and to bring out the color, okay? To bring out the, you know, to soften the area, okay? So you can see that there's a separation between the the shell and the, and the meat, okay? That is very, very important, okay? And I'm going to do a drop over here drop over here to do the same thing so you can you know this is a mistake that I don't want to miss and I don't want you guys to miss that okay because we do need to be you know be careful about uh, form and connection you know okay and so that looks better right doesn't it okay and uh, I might be able to do a drop over there okay between the shell and the and the meat of the arm of the forearm, okay? That's very important to do that, okay? Okay, isn't that so much better? Yeah, not so much better. Okay, well, thank you for joining me. I will see you in the next painting, okay? And I will finish it and then do the intro and have a drawing ready for you guys to uh, trace it if you needed it, okay? Anyway, thank you very much. We'll see you in the next painting.